to you to go from here to here. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. I'm going to come with all of my help. Know that my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Look up. Look to Jesus. This time we have to be young today. They have a past in beautiful program. And we're going to follow the program as it has been preached. When we get to expressions, we're going to ask that you respect the Lord the family. They ask that you get free minutes. We're going to ask that you please respect the Lord that time. We're going to serve the place that he across the lake and serve time to get there. And we need your help to make sure we're out here on time. So we're going to ask you free minutes for those who can do with our expressions. We're going to begin with the scripture reading from the New Testament, Old Testament, and it's always more than the New Testament 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 and it's always more than the New Testament. Prayer of comfort, we mentioned Aaron Jackson, for our solo, and then we have our expressions. We use that mic. Amen. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the, under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of fire and from the Lord of pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence. That walk in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes in no day. Amen. I have recited Psalms 91, 1 through the six stanzas. May God have a blessing to the hearers of those and also have a blessing to his word. Amen. Amen. Why should I feel this way? 
He knew where the Lord had brought him from. He prayed for the pastor. He prayed for the church. He prayed for the leaders. He prayed for the community and the wrong. Stephen Irvin was a good family man. St. Joseph, if you ask him to serve, ask him to do something, the word was be yes. Never know. And he was glad to do what he was doing for the church and for the enemy. So I said to the family, we're going to keep praying for you. And we pray that the Lord will continue to spend you and you're ready to come.
to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. She came along the door, and I had now heard from the Lord a little late. She wrote the door and said, have you heard? And I said, no, I didn't hear what I supposed to be hearing. So she stepped back, and she was crying, but I know that she still was doing it. And she finally told me, I stepped back because it grieved me, and I couldn't believe what I had heard. But when she told me, she said, your friend has got it. She said, your friend has got it to And he's gone to be with the Lord. And I closed it, for I talk all day, and I closed it. I just want to say to the fact, you have lost. No. They have gained and managed. Like my sister said, his wings is up there flying around. And he's up there teaching. And I really believe that. Me and my wife is just five feet further than anything that y'all do. Y'all know that today. Thank you.
Oh, you didn't send it to me, but I'm going to pray. Wow, you are the answer to give God a hand clap for praise. Wow, you are the answer to open up your mouth and fill your tomb with praise. God, we love you. God, we magnify you. God, we magnify you. God, we magnify you. God, we need you, God. Despite how you do it, I pray you open up your mouth and lift up and sacrifice the praise. So if you can have it, to pray for this people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you are faithful. God, you are good. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mama, the person God in this place, and his family, his wife, his earth, his children, his grandchildren, his family, his support me. The leaders of St. Joseph, God bless you. To these preachers, I have in the poor Peter and Pastor, that Johnson, the minister, that's so early. You have any other clergy, you know, would you please sing to recognize? Any of the clergy, or men or women, please stand to recognize. Amen. We thank God for you. We have got to say to celebrate this awesome man of God and what a man he is and what a man he was. Not only to St. Joseph, not only to the sister Barry, not only to his five beautiful children, his grandchildren, but to so many people, he was a handyman. Amen. Now, this is the day we pass and talking to people. I realized how many people he had done so far just at St. Joseph. He truly would be pleased. Um, he was out to the church probably a week or so before he passed. You know, some, all the things around the church, putting in doors and replacing door tracks and sliding doors. It's awesome, man. And the floor outside my steady heat and brother right now, Patrick, put it down. You just say, God, God, you can truly do it. We have Bible. Turn with me, if you will, to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter number 11. And we're going to read verse 5. Hebrews 11. And we're going to read verse, verse 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he had pleased God. Let's read together. By faith, it was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. What is the thought this morning? I want to just share with you. Call up in the line of duty. Call up in the line of duty. When you look at this passage, the chapter of 11 of the Acts is a book of faith. If you read through the entire chapter, you see various testimonies from the Old Testament soldiers who demonstrated their faith in straight ways. And here in the text here, verse number five, we see where Phoenix is that by faith he was translated. But before we get forward to understand this particular verse in totality, we have to go back to Genesis chapter five. We have to go back to Genesis chapter five and see what Moses writes. As it relates to him. And we look at Genesis chapter 5 and around verse number 21. It says, and Enoch lived 60 and 5 years and began to live Methuselah. And Enoch, here we go, walked with God after he began Methuselah 300 years and began his sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Verse 24, and he did walk with God, and he was not for God to him. We are aware of a couple of things in this text. We're going to look at he first, he walked with God. And we understand what that really means. It is more than a stroll in the park. And I would dare to say that Deacon Irving walked with God. See, when you're walking with God, it's not just a momentary thing. But it becomes a lifestyle of how you live. See, when you're walking with God, it's not that simply I'm walking with Him on Monday, I'm going to put 
down on Tuesday and pick back up again on Sunday morning. See, we have some people in the church who take a stroll with God. And see, strolls are temporary. We take a stroll down the beach, take a stroll down the street, but when you walk with someone, you're going to walk with them and see you really in love. See, see, Sister Bird and Deacon Bird, they walked together for 40 some years. 47 years. And the walk is demonstrated because she was there in the good times and she was there in the bad times. She encouraged him when he was down and, and cheered him on when he was up. See, when you're walking with God, your walk doesn't change because things around you change. And I want you to be encouraged today, Senator, that if you walk with God, even in this challenging and difficult time, He's just walking with you. See, when you walk with God, you have to understand that your walk with God doesn't change based upon situations, conditions, circumstances. But if you walk, I walk with God, I can walk through situations and challenges with my head up high. Not because of my strength, but because I know who holds my hand. See, walking with God means that when I see no one around me, I know that God is ever present. God is still with me. He is in me and He is for me. See, when I'm walking with God, people may let me down, but God never changes. See, before you can be translated, you have to first be transformed. And, and, and translated simply means to be taken up. To, to be taken up from a place. When you look at what, what it says here in, in, in Genesis, it says he walked with God and he was not. For God had took him. See, it's impossible to spend years walking with God and your heart not turning to. So before we get to translation, let's talk about transformation. Because see, when you walk with God, there are some things in your life, listen, there are some things in your heart and some things in your mind that have to first be transformed. And transformation comes from a consistent walk. And when you can walk with God, you can't help but to be transformed by the power of the Lord. We are at home in the Bible. We are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident and confident. Confident, I say, that willing rather to be active in the body and to be present with the Lord. See, see when Eden was translated, we were taken from one place into the presence of the Lord. And I know now when I talk to Sister Irving, see, he can learn from one place to another. It takes a moment. For walk to the back of the And see, the beauty in the eye, I know it's difficult to see right now, that from your old man, from your old woman to a new man in Christ. And when you are transformed here on earth, listen, listen, when you are transformed here on earth, and, and then the Lord takes you away from, from here on earth, you, you can have the same testimony as he had, that is written right here in Hebrew. Yeah. 
Es como el resto de mi vida. Me dio el Senhor. 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 Me dio el And this, this, this has made you realize that you can go too long. Yeah, maybe you know you grew up in church, you know the Lord, you know who he is, you heard his name, you probably been shocked with the best of it. But you have backslid, you have fallen out of fellowship, you have that you, I would not leave you here today and not be able to stand in the Lord. Paul, I see you have to be inside. Don't leave today in that backslid and say, I'm not talking about St. Joseph, I'm not talking about the Son of the I'm not talking about the Middle Way, I'm talking about the Church of the Living God. I'm talking kingdom citizenship and our church membership. And if you're saved, and you're not saved, you have not been to Joe. What a great honor it would be to this awesome man's legacy. And on the day of the American Homeborn Celebration, I gave my life to Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you.